Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze your Likert scale or semantic differential scale using principal component analysis or factor analysis. So in this uh, uh, questionnaire I have more than like 30 items and I would like to do principal component uh, analysis using Excel. So the scale is from strongly agree to strongly disagree or the reverse strongly disagree to strongly agree. So I'm going to go to analyze uh, dimension reduction and then factor. I'm going to move all the variables by clicking control uh, and uh, A to, to select them and move them at once to this box. Once I move them, I go to this uh, uh, place here, click descriptive. I choose univariate descriptives, initial solution coefficients, significance levels, determinant, chemo, and Bartlett test of sphericity and click continue. Then for the extraction method, I'm going to choose principal component here as the main method and correlation matrix, uh, script plot based on eigenvalue of one, it greater than one, it can make it 1.5, but anyway, I can keep it at one and I can leave this as this. Uh, so go to rotation again I choose direct oblique or for the oblique method or the orthogonal method which is the very max quarter max or equal max so I'm going to choose very max because I follow the study that has been done before all right uh, very max rotation so uh, I'm going to go back to the analysis click retreat the solution continue for scores I will leave it like this for options I'm going to uh, go here coefficient display format and source it by size to take it and suppress small coefficients and absolute value below I keep it at 3 because it's described in the literature here you can find one but you can make it 3 and then click continue and click OK and in the output you can see the descriptive statistics table about the items their mean their standard deviation etc and then for the second table is about correlation matrix each one correlates perfectly with the other uh, there may be positive or negative correlation so it depends on uh, how each item uh, correlates with the other along with the sig value Okay, so for the chemo and Bartlett test of sphericity, so Kaiser Mayer or Kin measure and sampling adequacy is uh, 8, so any value from 5 to 8 is good. And Bartlett's test of sphericity, here its sig value is less than 0.01, which is good uh, indicator. Then I'm going to check uh, the script plot and the other uh, tables. So before the script plot, as you can see here, we have like nine factors, nine components that account for uh, 67 of the variance. Or if we round this, it's like a 68 of the variance. All right, so let's go to the script plot. So we have uh, two uh, co components depending on the eigenvalue of one uh, and in the rotation, um, component matrix so this table this is with nine co uh, factors nine components and the, uh, each uh, factor has like the corresponding items for factor one for example it has more items factor two three four five six seven eight nine ten so uh, I'm going to copy and paste this table in the analysis uh, because it's most relevant and uh, for the other one we can keep it like this component transformation matrix etc so i'm going to copy as i said this table i'm going to show you here how this uh, person has done this how this researcher said factor loading communities a percent of variance for four factor principal component analysis with very max rotation on flux items so and have factor one factor two factor three factor four so this researcher uh, found four factors and their corresponding items okay you can see their corresponding items 
and the uh, the researcher like uh, added titles to the factors because a species doesn't give you titles you should add titles depending on the items of the factor this is in case your uh, of course uh, scale is not divided i mean you don't have like uh, titles and subtitles and within the scale but if you have titles and subtitles you don't need to to do factor analysis at all so this is how data has been uh, represented if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me uh, using one of my social media and see you in another tutorial.